Well, you guys know what time it is. It's time to do a firmware update. Um, I'm probably going to lay on my bed to do this one. I've got my computer set up over here. I've got my projector right here, and we're probably just going to blow up the 100 inch screen. I'm going to be lazy. I got my little keyboard over there with my touchpad. It's going to be a real lazy upgrade here. But uh, yeah, let me uh, go download the firmware, track it down on the Hubson site, and uh, got my cords ready here. I'm going to go ahead and plug those in. Plug them in now. Well, there you go, guys. First part is done. I updated the FC version 1.6.25. All plugged in and ready to roll. So now we're going to move on and do the RX. And uh, I got to tell you guys, after I read through the README, I'm not quite sure this is a great idea. We'll uh, we'll talk about that here in a bit. So let me, let me move on to the next step here. There you go. RX has been done. Remember, if you guys are getting ACK errors when doing the RX portion of this, move your quadcopter closer to your transmitter. Just, I'm tired of people saying, oh, I can't get it to work. I'm getting ACK errors. Uh, yeah, if you get an ACK error, just move your, your quad basically nose to end on the bottom here. You guys can see I just put the quad right against the bottom of this so that they can communicate closer because that's your problem. All right, upgrade success right there. So remember, guys, okay, after you do the update, the firmware update, your quad is probably not going to communicate with your transmitter. The easy way to fix that is to hold down the camera button and turn the power on until it says bind to plane then push your transmitter as close as you can to your hubs in and go ahead and plug it in if it doesn't bind the first time unplug this turn this off and restart the binding process again until it connects to the uh, quad don't freak out your unit's not bricked and you didn't break anything just continue trying the binding process until it communicates for the first time okay so that's hold down the camera button right there camera button and then turn the power on and continue holding it until you see it say bind to plane then get this as close as you can for their first communication and uh, go ahead and plug in the plane all right if it doesn't work a bunch of times then just continue moving the transmitter into different areas until it has that first initial contact with it so all right, well, we're updated. I guess it's time to go outside and give it a shot. So there you go, guys. Running 4.2.9 on my transmitter and the 501S RX has 1.2.16 and the uh, flight controller has 1.6.25. Like I said, I have my reservations about doing this and I hope I'm not wrong. But uh, I read through the README file, and some of it had me questioning some of the stuff that was going on. I'm not sure that this firmware update is for the states. I'm thinking this might be designed for Brazil and other places. But uh, then again, <clears throat> after I read through the README file, I saw that the update for the Southern Hemisphere stuff was for an older uh, 1.2.23 but that's basically what they're suggesting you install on here if you're not going to run 1.6.25. I don't really know how they're working that out. Um, but it's on here. Uh, I'm going to go outside and uh, see what happens. See you guys in a minute. All right, guys, what's going on? We have 12 satellites. I have 8.2 volts. I could have probably charged the battery a little more, but didn't. We have six on the uh, transmitter. Uh, it only took two turns to do the compass calibration, so let's go ahead and arm this. We're going to take off, take down the golf course. Luckily, there's nobody out here right now. Let's get this up in the air, send it out a little ways. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start the recording now. There we go. We are recording. It's leaning a little bit because of the wind. Turn around, make sure there's no golfers coming. Does not look like it. Let's go ahead and take this up a bit. And... Uh, We'll take it up a ways above the trees here and we'll see what kind of range we get out of it. That should be high enough to make this flight. We're at 33. We'll take it up to let's take it up to 40 meters. And we'll go ahead and take it out. Alright, so we're at 45 meters. 46. Let's go ahead and uh, take it down the golf course, see what kind of range we get out of it. 48 meters, 50 meters, 52 meters. Windy today. Let's uh, bring it back over this way a bit. Try to 
center it down the golf course. There we go. All right, so we're 136, 140, 144. I'm going to keep reading this out for you guys. 165. Looks like it's getting blown around there a little bit. 187, 189. 209, 214. 229. We're at 7.7 .7 volts. 250, 266, 271, 278, coming up on 300, there we go, this is as far as I went with the FPV system on the 502E, we still have pretty good reception, we're getting some break up here now, well it seems to be coming back in, let's keep going, 353, 355, 6, 360, 370 we're getting some break up a little windy up there <clears throat> we're at 7.6 volts I gotta aim my uh, transmitter down here a little bit more now it is windy and we're getting some pretty good break up here it's coming back in we're uh, approaching 500 meters and it just hit a big gust of wind, I think. Another big gust of wind. Another big gust. It's, uh, I don't know if that's wind or signal loss. Let's, uh, let's stop right there real fast. Let's move my antenna to the opposite side here. Make sure it's not interference. There we go. Keep pushing it. We're at 526. Nope. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I lost FPB. It's coming back. It's not. It's coming back. It came back for a second here. I have no control over it. I'm getting control again. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and call it right there, guys. At 540 meters. It is not as good on the range as Superflyer. There we go. It's returning to home. Um, Superflyer, guys. I get a kilometer of range out of it. This was uh, bugging out at 540, so... I'm going to go ahead and assume that my... Uh, <laughs> Its abilities are not quite up to power with Superflyer. It may have fixed some of the issues, but it's not giving me nearly the amount of range that I had before. So that's uh, that's unfortunate. I'll probably be reinstalling Superflyer package. Uh, as you guys know, I made six, seven hundred meters easily on Superflyer out here at the golf course. And uh, when I'm down at River Hills Park, I'm getting even more than that. So uh, <laughs> 540 is not good enough for me. That's uh, probably going to uninstall this package, and uh, I have no problem with that. So, alrighty, guys, I will see you back at the house here. I'm still 268 meters away. Um, as a matter of fact, we'll wait till it comes back, and then we'll try some of the other functions because I'm still at 7.5 volts. So let's wait until it comes back. I'll go ahead and speed the video up from here. We'll uh, we'll take it in. We'll drop it down a little bit more. We'll take it in and. Uh, you know, Superflyer, I lost the ability to do good follow me mode, so let's see if this has corrected the follow me mode. I'm going to go ahead, it's already turned towards me, I'm going to engage follow me mode. And, uh, it says follow mode engaged, it didn't quite point at me. Let's see if it follows me, it's, it's following me. Not as good as I'd like it to, because technically the camera's not really pointed directly at me. I don't know if I can make those adjustments, I can, okay. So I can readjust the camera, but... Go ahead and hit follow me mode again. Oh, that's weird. Put throttle low. What does that mean? I shouldn't have to. Interesting. Uh, follow me mode is not engaging again. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> wow. All right. So, interesting. I tried to adjust the camera angle while it was in follow me mode, and now I can't reactivate follow me mode. It says put throttle low. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and assume that this has some glitches still, guys. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's not good, that I can't reactivate follow me mode. Actually, let's, uh, let's send it out again. I'll hit it in altitude hold real fast. Altitude hold. There we go. Drifting back. And now let's see if I can activate follow me mode. No, put throttle low. Okay, so this definitely has some glitching software still guys I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm not a fan of the new uh, firmware at all 
I told you guys I'd test it. I came out here, I lost range, and uh, I lost the ability to do follow me mode. So, uh, not happy. All right, see you guys back at the house. So, what's up guys? Back from the flight. Um, what's my opinion of 16.25, 1.6.25? I'm gonna go ahead and say I am not a fan. Um, I feel like I just had stock antennas back on there. Um, I lost follow me mode. The GPS compass calibration was much simpler. Um, I only had to spin once for each compass, which was kind of cool. Um, and I know that I still have the compass bearing. Now, I didn't retest to see if I had to do the compass calibration again, but I didn't really see the need considering I'm over this firmware already. Um, I can't understand why Hubson puts out the firmware and then they continue taking away abilities from you. See, Superflyer so far is still my favorite, and that's 1.1.22, 1.2.12, 1 and um, 4.2.9. So that's my favorite so far. It, it's been the one that's worked the best. Now, I still kind of lose follow me mode um, with Superflyer because when I activate it, it wants to point off in a different direction and that's a real downside. I can't understand why they can't just get follow me mode correctly whenever they release a firmware update. It bothers the living daylights out of me. So, but to go out on the golf course and lose over half of the range that I was getting, and I was having signal loss, not just from the FPV, I was starting to have signal loss on 2.4. So there's obviously some very large differences between Superflyer and this package that they released. Um, I'm not a fan. I'm going to go ahead and just say that now. Uh, I will be reinstalling Superflyer, and that is 1.1.22. 1.1.23 uh, is for Brazil, and I would never even checked out 1.2.4. Um, but, you know, if you guys know what those are for, go ahead and comment below. I didn't get a chance to check them out. I was quite content with 1.1.22 for my flight controller, so never went beyond that stage. Um, I got everything I really wanted to out of the Superflyer package. Uh, <laughs> So, you know, for me, guys, not having to do a compass calibration scares me just because you're in a different area. You know, your geomagnetic sink needs to be able to communicate properly with the Earth. If there's too much metal in one area and not enough metal in another, then it throws off the compass unless you do a compass calibration. So there is a reason that that takes place, you know, and to just scrap it all together and only do it once scares me. I don't like that. That's a really scary thing. So for those of you that have installed it, these were my findings. I only needed to fly it once to find out everything I needed to about it. I'm going to go ahead and scrap 1.6.25 and say no. <laughs> so um, I'm doing another review here in a second if I have time. I've been charging the battery on this new item I got. I will go ahead and show that to you guys here in probably the next hour. I'm going to put this video out now so you guys know. For those of you who have downloaded it, I would say it's probably not good to have. So, Hubson, if you're listening, please, please, please get it together, man. Please stop taking away features and abilities with new firmware updates. I don't get how this is complicated to just fix the situation. Um, as you guys know, with my old Superflyer, I was getting some pretty extreme distance out of it. Um, when I first got the drone, it was only going 160 meters, and it was losing FPV at about 90 meters, and we've gone way beyond those. Uh, now, so now when I go out to my buddy's farm, it's all his land, it's his property, you can just take it as far as you want to. Anyways, guys, this is uh, Drone Worship, and I'm out. To the root. Give yourself to the dark side.